Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Adopted, which is uh, it's a first-person exploration narrative story game, kind of like Gone Home, and that sort of vibe, except that you play as a dog named Luchador. And I'm in my little, I'm in my crate at the moment. Um, this is a vertical slice demo, so sort of a proof of concept. How do the mechanics work together? How does the gameplay feel, etc. Um, for the game that's right now running a Kickstarter. Um, so I wanted to play this and kind of just see how it felt and show you guys what it's like. There's backstory that they've written and created that's not in the demo that I'll explain kind of as I go, but want to get right into it, so here I am as Luchador. Press E to bark, and that is Wyatt, my um, my new male owner, coming over to let me out. Hey, Wyatt. Hi. Hi. When you bark, um, he comes over. So part of the um, part of the mechanics of the game is that you can bark with E. And then, um, you sniff. All right, Wyatt. I'm going to bounce for a while. Don't forget to let Luch out before you sit down to watch the game. I'll leave this here, since apparently dogs aren't supposed to have people food. So you, you click to sniff, and there's a lot of objects in the game, so the things that are glowing right now, that you can sniff, and they'll either there be narration kind of explaining what they are, or something will happen... I don't know, what's this mushroom? There's no way he's even hungry after yesterday. He just wants to chew on everything. <laughs> he loves them. So does Mars, and I think we owe our little peace after last night. So it's the mushroom. Uh, there's another mushroom. Come on, let me steal a mushroom. Just one, for Luchador. That's me. No, get your hands out of there. You'll knock them over. Uh, and I guess press Q to to munch, because I'm a dog and I can't help it, I can jump. It makes this adorable clinking sound of my collar, I guess. I love that. That's such a cute little detail. Can I jump on my crate? Yeah. Oh, I can jump on my crate and then the table? <laughs> um, here's my glass. Gilded steer ale. So where'd Marissa go? Um, out to double check something with the caterers, I think. Caterers? Is something wrong? I called yesterday and they said everything was on track. So I guess this is what um, what the people are kind of thinking or feeling as the um, when they use these things or something like that. Also, this is not important but kind of funny. Look how the um, the the glows like merge together and turn pink. That's actually really cool. <laughs> It's just, a, I know that's not intentional, but that was awesome. Um, the art is super cool. Like, the kind of cartoony, dark outline style, and the fact that it's fisheye perspective, because you're a dog, and dogs have weird eyes. Um, the clouds outside are just cartoony block clouds. I really like that, also. Um, so, hold right mouse to do something else. Oh! I... Sorry! Sorry, Wyatt. I broke the glass. That was me. Whimpering in real life. That wasn't the game. I'm apologize. That's how dogs apologize. They whimper and look sad. All right, let me hop off here. Oh, wait, what was that? Press space bar. Oh, to jump. I figured that out on my own. I know how to play first-person games. Um, that is important, though. I can't jump on this. Okay, let me eat this mushroom. <clears throat> and the bone. And I'm going to kind of explain what's going on. Oh, I can't eat the bone. Can I eat the bone? Q? No, I can't? All right, Wyatt. I'm going to bounce for a while. Don't forget to let Luch out before you sit down to watch the game. I'll leave this here, since apparently dogs aren't supposed to have people food. I've been eating all the people food. Okay, so let me kind of... Ooh, that's cooking. 
That's oh, I love those little curly smokes. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little backstory because um, this does have, even though this is kind of an early version of this game, they have written a bunch of interesting backstory already that you know is gonna work its way into the game as they as they go. Um, time for a, take a pause for a dramatic reading. I'm gonna stare at these curly cues. You can look at them and be mesmerized as I read. Ready? Let's go. The game takes place in Hermosa, a fictional megacity in the southwestern United States. Inspired by real-world locations like Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, or Phoenix, Hermosa is a reflection of modern-day America as experienced by post-college 20-somethings, who these people are. Marissa's condo is located in the Armadillo Valley, a place where culture, economics, and ideas often collide. Oh, crap, that's on fire. Wyatt, Wyatt! Come here! I'm barking. Stop! No! Put that out! That's really... My ear, dog ears are so sensitive! Oh. What's wrong with you? Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt. Yeah. What's up, buddy? What do you smell like? Oh, hello, there's another person. Hello. So maybe, <laughs> since the point of this game is to interact with the world and, and make it do things and kind of see how your people react, I should do something about the pan instead of just watching it smoke and admiring the flames. Maybe that was a good idea. So let me try again. I'm going to start from here, but I'm actually going to, like, do stuff this time. We'll see how that goes. I do like to take my time kind of hanging out and admiring the world, you know? Because this is a... It's a nice world that we got here. But, um... But still. <laughs> but still. Hello, Wyatt. What was Laurel thinking, bringing home a dog? My eyes feel like somebody stuffed them with cotton. What if he gets on the counter again? <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Ooh, what if he gets on the counter? Okay. Maybe I can... Does, can Wyatt magically turn off the stove with his, like, puppy hands? Or I can, like, lick the pan to, de to, to until it's not flaming anymore? That seems unlikely. What's this over here? Laurel, take your laundry basket in your room before you leave, okay? Luchador smeared hair all over it yesterday while he was dragging it around. <laughs> oh, dragging it around. Oh, my God. Look at that little illustration. Are you pulling the laundry basket? That's so cute. Oh, and Wyatt's gone. Okay. Hey, Wyatt. What's up? What you doing? What you doing? Ah, finally. Just me and my desperados. Luchador can do whatever he wants, and Laurel can clean up the mess. It would take an A-bomb to stop me from watching this game. How about if your house burns down? Would that stop you? Because that's what we're about to find out. Let me hop up on the counter with this basket that I can drag like a little puppy. <laughs> that's so cute. Just pulling it backwards. All right, let me head over here and hop up on the counter and see what happens. Hop, hop. Oh, oh. Dude, Mars, I think you left the burner on. I swear I turned the damn thing off. See, look, it says off, but there's still heat coming out. Hmm. So it's a problem with the burner. Can I like? Hey, Do Mars, anything? I think you left the oh, burner on. Sorry? I swear I turned the damn thing off. See, look, it says off, but there's still heat coming out. All right. He said an A-bomb would have to stop him from from watching the game. What about... Can I, like, chew the... Oh, there's the cord. Can I get to the cord on the other side? To, like, chew it? No, I don't think I can reach it. What is this that goes around the side? Um, what's that thing? It's a cord protector. Just bought it this morning. Virtually indestructible. There ain't no way I'm gonna let Laurel's dog ruin our new TV. Of course. Uh, he's our dog. He was a wedding present, remember? Oh, there's a cord over there. There's a cord over here. Cord. Why are you so worried about Luchador chewing that? It's just a silly cord. It was a wedding gift, Marissa, from your parents. And I have a plan to make sure Luch doesn't do any more chewing. Wyatt. Ever again. I'm sorry to do this to you, but... Your house is going to burn down. I got to do something about it. 
Yeah, you head into the, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna walk into the kitchen and pretend I wasn't here. Oh! Oh, he picked me up! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, and he's gonna fix the... Is he gonna turn it off? Yeah! Awesome! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry I broke your TV. I feel really bad that I broke the TV. <laughs> It's for your own good, buddy. It's for your own good. What else is over here? I jumped right to that. I didn't, uh... I didn't, I didn't try it out. Oh, someone else is here. Hello. Oh, shit. Wyatt's home? All right. Stay cool, Marissa. You can't let him know you still have them. Oh, still have that. Oh, that was mysterious. Wait, I want to give it one more try, because I want to investigate the stuff that was in the room that I missed. Because I jumped right for the TV. Wyatt! <laughs> Wyatt! So while I'm, while I'm waiting for him to make his breakfast, let me tell you a little bit more about these people. Because, like I said, they wrote a whole bunch of really cool backstory that's not included in this demo, because it doesn't really fit the scope of the gameplay demo. I'm going to stand on the, up on, the, up on my, um, my narration table again. <laughs> Um, so Wyatt, that person, and, um, and Marissa, who I don't remember, I don't know who the person who came in the door was, but Marissa and Wyatt are getting married in the next 36 hours, and yesterday they had their, uh, their, their reception, or not the reception, that yesterday they had their rehearsal dinner and all their pictures and everything, and everything is great. Except their maid of honor, Laurel, was missing from all those things, which is strange. So she turned up later that night with me, Luchador, as a wedding present, which is a little odd thing to do, which is probably going to be one of the main things in the game is like, what the heck is up with what's up with Laurel? Why'd she do that? That's really weird. Um... And let's learn how to take care of this adorable little puppy. Which is me, I'm the puppy. And I'm adorable. Um. So that's that. Let me... Let me see... Let me see what else there is to sniff in here. I'm, so, I'm really, really sorry that I broke your TV. I wonder if there's any way I can get him out there a different way. I'm gonna try that. Oh, there's that glass. Maybe I can break the- I don't want to break anything, though! I don't want to break the glass, either. Okay. You hid it under the dog bed? I didn't think Wyatt would oh, look yeah. there, with the allergies and all. You've got to get them out of here. Now. Get them out of here. Now, maybe that has something to do with the them that she said she had or something? She hid stuff under the dog bed? You hid it under the dog bed? Is there I anything under the dog bed? I didn't think Wyatt would look there, There's with the allergies the and all. You've got to get them out of here. Now. All right, well... Wait, I need to look at this bookshelf, because I love fake books and movies and games. What do we got? A uh, robot tycoon? Is that? Picture mania? P Pioneers of Katarn? Which is Settler's pun. Uh, Slasher on Ice? Miracle in the South? 101 Weird Photographs? The Forsaken? The Stand? Vestand? Le Font? Bench quest, bench quest, elements of visual design. All right, that's a cool bookshelf. Wait, what is that? I can't read it when I'm jumping. Um, what else? Hey, why can I watch the game with you? <laughs> Buddy, can I lick your face while you watch the game? Ah, finally, just me and my desperados. Luchador can do whatever he wants, and Laurel can clean up the mess. It would take an A-bomb to stop me from watching this game. Mod architecture. <laughs> Gotta remember to put this issue somewhere I can find Which it. I can also it's shred. the article on Benson and Stoll's new internship program. You can also shred that, and here's his burger. Look, I know Laurel eats all your food. She never remembers the shelf roll. That's why I hid some tofu in the back of the freezer and thought it out for you for lunch. You're the best. I know. There's this burger. What's this? Hold control? Oh, I can crouch. Oh, and slide under here. What's this? We need a distraction to move them to your car. Maybe we can convince Wyatt to play fetch with Luch outside, and then we can move them. 
Patch. Is the pan on fire yet? I'm not sure they've really warmed up to each other yet. You go distract him. I can hide them in something. Hide them? They keep talking about them. What are they hiding? Oh, that's a that's a teaser and a half right there. Uh, well, I mean, in the interest of exploring the game mechanics, I guess I'll shred the magazine. I'm sorry. And bring it to you. Hi! Look what I did to your thing. I'm sorry, can I get under the chair now? I'm sorry, I'm gonna hide under the chair. Oh, that sent him into the other room, too. And now he's gonna... Is he gonna notice this now? I'm sorry. Is he gonna notice the pan? Nice! Success! Alright, that was... Also destructive. Maybe... Not as destructive as the first thing. A magazine is easier than it. He could still read it, you know? Like, he can still read the magazine. Oh shit, why it's her shoes? All right, hmm. stay cool, Marissa. You can't let him know you still have them. All right. So that is adopted so far. Uh, I think that's really, really cool. Really super fun. Um,. I want to reiterate the thing that I think is really interesting about it. One of the things is that you play from the perspective of a dog, but it's not a dog simulator. And they're making a really big point to explain this on Kickstarter. It's not a dog simulator. It's really like a narrative adventure game. There's um, exploration game. There's a lot of like really dark, serious themes. It's like, it's a serious story. Um, it's not like, oh, I'm going to run around and break stuff like a puppy, you know? Um, but it's from the lens of a dog, which I think is super cool. You know, you you see, you see feel what your people are feeling when you sniff stuff and you, like, manipulate them by moving them around. But it's it has kind of the whimsical dog thing, but not too much of it, which I think is really interesting. I think that's a super cool idea. So um, that is adopted for now. If, you, um, if you're interested in this game or these kind of games, I know... I loved Gone Home so much, it really, like, changed the way that I think about games and storytelling. Seriously, it was that big a deal for me. Um, I'm obviously super excited about this game. Um, and if you enjoyed Gone Home too, you know, go support them on Kickstarter. They they could use all the help they can get, as, as can any campaign. Um, I'll put the links to everything in the description and, you know, spread the word to people you think would like it and all that good stuff. Um, and thanks for watching! We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.